Our State Historical Museum in Helena is filled with many wonderful things. We have a fortune alone in paintings of Montana's artist, Charlie Russell. Here today is a story about Charlie from John Jewell, who knew him personally. I am John Jacob Jewell of Helena. I am standing in front of a painting of Charles Russell's known as uh, Charlie Russell and his friends. The locale of the picture is just west of Great Falls. The butte that you see in it is the butte that is north of Cascade. I knew Charlie Russell for 18 years of his lifetime. I first met him in 1908 in October in the Silver Dollar in Great Falls. At that time I met, met his one of his greatest friends, Billy Rance. We have here in the Historical Museum many of the letters that he wrote to Billy Rance during his lifetime. Upon the death of Billy Rance, the great collection that he had went over to the Mint Saloon in Great Falls. Where the Silver Dollar got its name was from the, uh, the uh, fact that in the front entrance to the saloon, silver dollars were embedded in the concrete, probably three or four hundred of them. When this collection went over to the Mint Saloon, owned by Sid Willis, another great friend of Charlie Russell's, and where Charlie Russell used to hold out during his leisure time when he could get away from home and visit with the boys, why he would go down and talk and visit with Sid Willis. Sid Willis is also passed into the great beyond. He was one of my closest friends when I was over in eastern Montana, and I never went to Great Falls that I didn't visit with Sid Willis, and many, many times I found Charlie Russell there. Charlie Russell used to come down to Hobson, where I was located, and go out to the ranch of uh, Walter Bright, and uh, would spend one or two days there, and Walter would invite all of us young fellows around there at that time to come in and visit with Charlie during the evening. And many times we went in there, it was an evening, a night, you might say, of telling stories and of having a few on the side. They say that Charlie was a great drinker, but I never saw him intoxicated. He drank, yes, but he told more stories than the liquor that he drank. I remember once over at Utica on Walter Bright's ranch, there were a number of us there, and recently a man had died over at Great Falls, reputed to be uh, quite wealthy. And one of the boys said to Charlie, he says, well, uh, how much did he leave? And Charlie promptly replied, all of it. That was the kind of a man that Charlie was. Many, many photographs of Charlie Russell do not show the real Charlie Russell. Charlie Russell always had an expression of a readiness to smile, but when he posed for a photograph, he just simply looked as sober as, well, he looked as though he had lost his wife or something of the kind. I saw him a few days before he died. And Charlie uh, went down very rapidly in the last couple of years of his life. I went to Great Falls to attend his funeral on Oct during October 1926. The entire city was in mourning. The schools were closed. All flags were at half-mast, and the funeral cortege was an old team and an old hearse that they had been able to get together over at Cascade. Charlie didn't want to be taken to the cemetery in an automobile. He wanted horses to draw him, and they were driven by one of his old friends and his horse, was behind the hearse in the funeral procession. I will never forget 
that afternoon as long as I live. Your speaker was John Jewell. Out-of-state friends will enjoy a visit to our State Historical Museum in Helena. Displays are changed often, so there is something new for you, even if you were there but a month ago. The museum is yours. Visit it often. Make suggestions for its betterment. Mike Kennedy, the museum director, appreciates your constructive criticism.